Hi, this is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog on green building and building science. We're here today on the low VOC wars. We are pitting Sherman Williams Harmony against PPG Pure Performance against Benjamin Moore EcoSpec. I've got Mike Walsh from Walsh Painting and uh, I've got Clement from uh, Clement's Paints and Arrow Painting and we're going to tell you what we think. Okay, everybody, we are on the zero VOC paint wars today. We've got three different uh, paints that we've tried over the last three different projects. Uh, I think I've introduced you to uh, Mike Walsh from Walsh Painting, my head painter. And I also want to introduce you to Clement, uh, the owner of two paint stores in town. Uh, Clement, which two uh, stores do you own? Uh, Clement's Paint Downtown and uh, Arrow Paint and Supply on Burnett Road and Canaan. And uh, Clement, what brand of paint do you guys sell? Uh, Benjamin Moore. All right, very good. And as a matter of fact, Clement uh, supplied us our paint on this. Uh, we are talking today uh, specifically about Benjamin Moore EcoSpec, which just happens to be on the top of the ladder for a reason. Uh, Mike and I, the last three houses, the last three big projects we've done, we tried a different paint manufacturer uh, and a different well-regarded paint to see what our own thoughts on that paint were. And so these last few jobs that we did, we used the Sherman Williams Harmony and, uh, and a PPG Pure Performance. And both those are zero VOC paint, and we really like them. They're good paints. We have nothing bad to say about them. However, we're going to tell you today, there's a couple things that make this Benjamin Moore EcoSpec just a little notch uh, better uh, than these other two. And they're also, one, one thing to note, they're also at about the same price family. Um, we won't talk all about pricing because that depends a little bit on your contractor. Contractors typically get better pricing than a retail price uh, at the store. But, you know, you do want to pay, you do want to pay uh, a little bit more for a good paint. And the uh, Benmore EcoSpec, uh, I would kind of consider it a, a mid-price paint that's not as expensive as some, and it's certainly not a low-price paint. Uh, but you, you always get what you pay for, whether it's with your builder, whether it's with your painter, or with your paint that you buy. So um, let's talk specifically about why we like this Zero VOC EcoSpec. Um, Mike, one of the things that I like about this paint is that it doesn't off gas and it doesn't have a lot of smell to it. Can you talk to me about what, what that does for your crew and what that does for my homeowners when we live in a house? Well, with the no smell, the, we, we can paint it. Uh, one day, and the homeowners can sleep in their in their house that night. There's no off gases. Mm -hmm. There's no VOC. It's uh, virtually no smell, and so it just makes uh, for a better product. It really makes for a, a much healthier uh, either remodel or new build. Especially important when you're remodeling like this. This is about a 500 square foot addition plus some other interior remodeling we're doing uh, for the clients on one of their child's bedroom and also in their family room. So every night these clients are coming home in the middle of this paint job, and if this was a, a higher VOC or even a low VOC paint, there'd be a lot of off-gassing and a lot of paint smell, which is not good for us. And so this being a zero VOC product makes a big difference. And uh, Clement, I wonder if you can tell me, uh, all these, these paints are listed as a zero VOC product. What sets the Benjamin Moore apart from these others when we're talking about VOC content? That's a good question, Matt. Uh, all the products are zero VOC. The only difference is that uh, the Harmony and the Pure Performance uses the traditional colorant that uh, has a lot of VOCs in it. So once you, you put the, the uh, colorant in the cans, then uh, it is no longer a VOC-free product. Our product has a uh, zero VOC colorant, and uh, you can get a, uh, a totally zero VOC uh, color even in the darkest shades. That's great. That makes a big difference. And Mike, one of the things I wanted to ask you specifically about these three paints, now that you've painted three different projects with the three paints, um, tell me about the high capability of these three products and which one you, th you think hides the best. Well, for me, that's the most important thing about a paint. Uh, I want to save time, I want to save money. Uh, I've found that the hiding power with the EcoSpec is uh, twice as good as these other two. Wow. Uh, and what is that, how does that translate into a savings in either time or money? Well, I use less products and less man hours to complete the, the job. That's great. So basically on this job, uh, we put two coats on all the walls, 
and it did a really good job of giving us a nice even tone and covering over and making a nice, uh, very high, very much hidden on the substrate. Whereas these other two paints, it took us more like three coats a lot of times to have a good hide. For instance, a lot of times in, uh, in finished carpentry, we'll make a pencil mark on the wall or make a pencil mark on the trim. And with these other paints, it might take us three coats to cover over a pencil mark. Uh, whereas this Benjamin or EcoSpec, really two coats, does a really good job of covering that. And probably you could even get away with one coat in some instances. Although really, we like to two coat everything. It's really the best product for your clients. Any, uh, any other comments that uh, we may have missed, Clint, on, uh, on your Benjamin Moore product? Well, like uh, Mike was saying, uh, you, can, uh, you can paint your bedroom during that day and have your child sleep in that bedroom that night without any off-gassing whatsoever. Yeah, that's huge. And even on new construction, my company does about 60% oh, or so of new construction, about 40% remodeling work. And on new construction, that means that means uh, a world of difference for us as well because our clients are going to move in. We're going to come back and do some touch-ups from them probably after the movers have finished moving in or after a one-year anniversary. And a lot of times we'll come back year after year or once a year to do some touch-up or a little drywall work. And so that paint is going to get repainted uh, at some point when someone's living in that house. So when you start with a zero VC product, you're really going towards a very good indoor air quality for your clients. So on the paint wars, guys, what is your favorite paint? Clement, what's, uh, what's the winner for you? I've got to say EcoSpec. All right. Yeah. Hands down, yeah, EcoSpec. And, and uh, I really enjoy it, too. I think it's a great product. If you're uh, if you're looking to do uh, a remodel or reconstruction, yeah. talk to your painter, talk to your builder about this better yeah. more EcoSpec. A really good paint. Like I said, I, I don't have negative things to say per se about these other two products we used. They were good products, uh, but I think Ben Moore just is slightly uh, above on these other two. So thanks for joining me. Have a good day, everybody. Thank you.